think I'm running out of memory. Do you mean storage? Same thing? No ma'am, let's break it down. This is DIY in five. Hey everyone, welcome to DIY in five, the show that makes tech easy enough that DIY is possible for the everyday user. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today's episode will be all about semantics. <laughs> I kid, but seriously, when we talk about PC memory, many people get confused about what type of memory that is and what it does in your system. So today, we'll break down the differences between PC memory versus storage. And if you find the tips in today's video useful, feel free to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. As suggested by its name, memory is where information is stored, in this case, data bytes of code for a computer. But much like our own memory storage, your PC does this in two different ways. Think of it like short-term and long-term memory. One is stored very quickly and erased as soon as you no longer need the information, and the other, long-term memory, is meant to stay there for the long haul. In a PC, your RAM, or random access memory, is your short-term memory, and often referred to as just memory whereas your hard or solid state drive is your long-term memory and is often referred to as storage. When someone refers to how much memory a device has, say a new gaming console or PC, they are likely referring to how much RAM, aka short-term memory, the device has. This directly affects the speed and multitasking capabilities of the device, keeping frequently used data quick at hand. Things like keeping multiple tabs open in your internet browser to high resolution textures needed in video games. Now the second example is a special type of RAM called VRAM that's part of a graphics card, but I digress. This type of memory is volatile, meaning that it is only temporarily stored and when the power to the system shut off, any data that was stored there is wiped clean. RAM is measured in gigabytes and can typically be found in modules from two gigabytes to 64 gigabytes per module. Now, storage, on the other hand, is also measured in gigabytes, but in way higher capacities. Say from 64 or 128 gigabytes in a phone, all the way up to one or two terabytes in a high-end PC. Now, storage, remember, is our long-term memory, so you'll need more space to save more files that you want to keep for longer periods of time. And while you can store more data in these larger capacities, it takes a little longer for your device to access or write that data but that data is stored there until you erase it or move it to a new location. Storage is a great way to save things that are larger in file size and don't need to be ready at a moment's notice, like pictures, videos, large game files, etc. Now SSD storage, which stands for solid state drive, will read and access data faster than a traditional HDD hard drive, but not as quickly as RAM. SSD storage is a great way to store large files that you would still like to access relatively quickly, like a game save file, for example, which will then reduce loading times. Anywho, to recap, when tech specs or PC enthusiasts are talking about memory, you can assume they mean RAM, aka your PC's short-term memory. And when they're listing the storage, they're talking about how much space is available on their hard drive or SSD, aka their long-term memory. Need faster juggling of everyday tasks? You need more RAM. Need more room for your game save files? You need more storage. While technically both are ways to store data, they operate in very different ways at different speeds and at different price points. I hope that helps to straighten things out a bit. And if not, put those questions in the comments and the hive mind here at Kingston will do our best to help decode. Take care everyone and see you next time with more DIY in 5.